Our place in history goes beyond the American Revolution. And with the help of our Office of Veterans Services this year, Yonkers has been named an American World War II heritage city by the National Park Service. You know, they were the only city in New York State that was given such a designation. <laughs> Yonkers' greatest generation is recognized for its contributions that supported America's war effort during World War II. For instance, did you know that, that the Yonkers School of Aeronautical Manufacturing alone trained an estimated 10,000 men and women for what they called war work, or that five World War II generals were from Yonkers, four of whom graduated Yonkers, graduated Yonkers schools, or Yonkers High School, matter, matter of fact, and that Yonkers was home to over 75 companies that had defense contracts and manufactured, get this, 95% of the cable that sent fuel from England to France under the English Channel. Our contributions to the Allied forces and to that victory over 80 years ago cannot be overstated. I'll ask you again, please join me in recognizing Yonkers' greatest generation and all the veterans who are with us here tonight for making this the greatest country on earth. And if you can, please stand so that we can say thank you for your service. Now, to properly thank and congratulate them, please welcome the pipes and drums of the Police Emerald Society of Westchester. Celebrating 50 years, the Police Emerald Society first appeared under the direction of the Yonkers Police Lieutenant Martin J. Harding at the Yonkers St. Patrick's Day Parade. Give a nice round of applause. Thank you guys. And I'm looking forward to joining you on McLean Avenue in just a few weeks.